Today's episode of Hashtag Rise and Grind is brought to you by an interesting source <laughs> this morning. Uh, every episode of Hashtag Rise and Grind, the way that it works is I wake up at 3.20 in the morning. I do not hit the snooze button. I don't touch my phone first thing in the morning. I go downstairs into my basement and I take some time to think through the things that I'm thankful for, as well as writing down my goals. So I'll spend a little time doing that. And then I grab this notebook, my handy dandy notebook, as they would say on Dora the Explorer. Yes, I have a lot of kids. Don't judge me. And so I take out my handy dandy notebook and I write down the words, good morning. And after writing down the words, good morning, I simply ask. I ask for the message that you all, and I don't mean you all, the message that you need to hear today. And so today's message is specifically for you, and it is a little bit different than how we normally do things here on Hashtag Rise and Grind, but something tells me, something tells me you're going to love it. With that said, let's dive in. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? See, there's no excuse for you not pushing yourself to the next level. In order for you to create a new you, you must have a new mindset. When teams come together, we can create things that are greater than the sum of all of their parts. And welcome to Hashtag Rise and Grind. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to eight, and the creator of what is going to be the number one most watched morning show in the world. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Good morning, and good morning, good morning. How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? Dude, today is Wednesday. That's right. Today is Wednesday, March 17th, 2021. And what's crazy is today is the very first and the very last time it'll ever be Wednesday, March 17th, 2021. So I want to make sure we make the absolute most and I do mean the absolute most of this absolutely incredible, incredible day. Apparently, I was just informed a few minutes ago, it's also St. Patrick's Day. So congratulations. If you're that's your thing, like St. Patrick's Day is you, it's a part of your culture and a part of who you are, then congratulations. I hope that you celebrate it today. And I hope it's an incredible, incredible, memorable day, one that you'll never forget for the rest of a lifetime. I know that's big, but that's where I'm at today. Today is also known as CMA Day. That's right. Wednesdays are CMA Day. That's Carter Myers Automotive Group, one of the most amazing groups of automotive auto uh, dealerships in the country. They are located over there in Virginia, and I get the pleasure of working with their team every single Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. So super excited about CMA Day. Now, today's episode here of Hashtag Rise and Grind is a bit unique. That's going to be the best way I'm going to put it. <laughs> today's episode is a bit unique. It is going to include an audio slash video of a poem that is near and dear to my heart. A poem that I wrote at a season on a morning where I had woken up early, wrote down my gratitude and goals, wrote down the words, good morning. And then all of a sudden I wrote this thing, right? 
I wrote this thing and I didn't even really know what I was writing or why I was writing or why it was so important. Uh, clearly, it was just it was on my heart and it came out. And maybe it was a message that it was delivered from the outside. Maybe it was a message that was that was brought out from the inside. I don't know. I don't know. But here's what I know. I know that I wrote it and it's been near and dear to my heart ever since. So I'm going to share that with you today here on hashtag rise and grind. And if you want to watch the full video, like if you want to see the, the, the whole video of it, we recorded it. I present the poem. If you want to see the whole video of it, then you can go to official Glenn Lundy, just head over to official Glenn Lundy on Facebook right now. And you can check out the entire full video, right? Otherwise, of course, you're going to be able to listen to it over in uh, Clubhouse. Those of you that are in in our Breakfast with Champions room on Clubhouse, you will be able to listen. Um, but if you want to catch the full video, head over to official Glenn Lundy on Facebook. All right. I'm not running live on Insta today because the experience just wouldn't make sense over on that platform. And until they give me some extra tools, there's certain things I just can't do over there. But listen, af after spending time online, Back during this season when I wrote this, after spending some time online, I had noticed like I had noticed a certain uh, there was just a certain vibe, a certain energy on the Internet. Right. There were black men that were kneeling and the world was in shock. Like people could not understand how you could take a knee during our national anthem. I mean, the world was in shock. Racism was everywhere. Police brutality everywhere. When I say everywhere, I mean everywhere in social media. Please, let's be clear. There was division everywhere on social media. Like it was all the forefront of every single post. People divided in a sea of passionate thoughts. People that were my friends, right? My friends, my friend on the left, my friend on the right. And they were divided so passionately between their opinions. Like these were my friends. These were people that I know and loved and they were all fighting one another. They were all fighting one another. And it, it moved me. It literally shifted my soul. It shifted my spirit. To see my friends, the people that I know and love, divided in this way, fighting with one another. And so, listen, ladies and gentlemen, there's one thing I need you to know. There are going to be times in your life where you must respond to the push or the tug or the pull. Whatever word you want to use, there are times in your life where you must respond to that gut feeling that you have inside. You see, my weapon of response has always been the written word. I am, I am such a fan of the written word and the spoken word. And so when I felt the tug, when I felt this, this hatred, this division, when I felt this pull, I knew I had to respond. And so I broke out my pen and my handy dandy notebook and I wrote because that's how I respond. How do you respond? Now, listen, after writing feverishly, I felt complete. I really did. I felt complete. Like, you know, that feeling of accomplishment, right? That feeling of accomplishment that you get, like, even if it's just a little thing, right? Like, for example, my wife, you know, my, my poor wife, she's, a, uh, she's raising eight, eight kids, right? And so for my wife, it's a huge accomplishment. She'll just be like, honey, guess what? I took a shower today. <laughs> and I know there's mamas out there that are feeling what I'm talking about, right? My wife's just like, I took a shower today. That's an accomplishment for her because she's in the midst of battles all day long. And to be able to get a few minutes to herself is a rare, rare, rare treat. Or maybe it's that feeling of accomplishment you get when you like nail the perfect parallel park job, right? You're like, dude, I just nailed that. Look how close I am to the curve. Are you kidding me? I'm right there. Like it's these little wins sometimes, this sense of accomplishment, right? Maybe it is, maybe it's you hit that high note in the shower, right? I was singing my greatest showman. 
in the, the greatest showman soundtrack. I dropped that in the shower yesterday. I was hitting it, boy, and nobody was listening. And so I sounded fantastic. <laughs> I sounded absolutely amazing. Or maybe it's that sense of accomplishment, that little feeling you get when you know the answer to a question on Jeopardy. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? You're like, yep, I knew that. Especially when the contestants don't know it, right? You're like, that's right. Mm-hmm. I could be on Jeopardy. I would get three questions right. Mm-hmm. Sure would, right? That sense of accomplishment. But that's how I felt after I wrote this. And so that morning, I immediately went and I grabbed my boy, Brandon, who Brandon, any video you've ever seen of me has been done by, by Brandon Randolph. And I said, Brandon, I said, Brandon, let's go. Let's go. I wrote this this morning. Let's just go shoot it real quick, right? And so Brandon goes and he grabs a camera and I called a friend of mine. I pick up the phone and I say, hey, I need your help. I need like an auditorium or a stage or somewhere like that with good sound because there's this message that was on my heart that I took and I put it into the word. And now I want to make sure we can deliver it in video form as well. And like crazy, he was like, no problem. And they gave me the high school auditorium the Bourbon County High School Auditorium where they have their plays and all of that stuff. He was like, bro, you can use this. Go right ahead. He handed me the keys. And so I'm like, okay, here we go, right? I've got this thing that was on my heart that all of a sudden I responded to. I was upset. I was moved. I couldn't stand the things that I was seeing online, the division, the people, the fighting, my friends pulling at one another. And so I was like, man, here we go. We got this auditorium. I'm going to deliver this message. And it was super cool because the doors just opened up for us to be able to do this. And so Brandon's there with his camera and the microphone's right there. And I've got my shirt on and my tie. And I'm like, okay, I've never delivered this message before. I've, I literally just wrote this uh, like a couple hours ago. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm probably going to have to do this in multiple takes, but I'm going to go ahead and, and we'll, we'll get it knocked out, Brandon. Let's do it anyway. And so right as he went to hit record so that I could start, about a hundred kids came walking into the auditorium. So what I didn't know is my friend not only gave us the auditorium, but he gave us an audience. He went and let some of the classes know that I was going to be speaking. And so now all of a sudden, which anybody who's in the speaking world will tell you, speaking to kids is hard. <laughs> Speaking to adults is one thing, but capturing the attention of children is hard, especially in this particular case, we were talking about some adult stuff. So I was like, oh my gosh, here I am. I just had a, a thought this morning. I had this urge. I had this tug. I had this, this pull and this feel. And so I took my pen and I wrote the word and I made a call and I grabbed Brandon and I got the auditorium and now I'm standing there and there's a hundred kids sitting in the room staring at me. No prep. No plan. No real, like, I didn't have any intention to do this. This wasn't set up. And so I sat up there and I looked at it and I was like, okay, let's do this. And I began to speak. And this is what came out. Well, actually, <laughs> first, before we do, y'all know what we got to do on this show. Y'all are like, dang you, Glenn Lundy. <laughs> You know what we got to do on this show. Come on now. Come on now. We got to do some dancing this morning. Come on. There it is. You feel it? <laughs> Let's go. We got to dance a little bit this morning. Listen, for those of you that know, and those of you that don't know, this is the part of the show where I need you to hit that share button. That's right. If you're watching on Facebook, the full production, I need you to hit that share button. If you're over on Clubhouse, do me a huge favor. Hit the plus sign. Go ahead and get people in here because I'm about to drop this on all of y'all. All right? You're going to love it. So get your friends in here. It's going to be incredible. This is also the part of the show where I want to say good morning to you and I want you to say good morning to me. Whether you're watching live or you're watching on replay, either way, doesn't matter. Listen in to the podcast, watch it on YouTube, whatever. Hook up with me. It's important. I want to connect with you. All right? Let's not make this a one-way relationship. Let's make this a two-way relationship. So drop a comment. Connect with me on Instagram and the DMs. 
whatever it is, I want to know you. All right. So good morning, Janice Mullings. How are you? What's up, Sean Weatherby? I see my man John Paul Gidry is up in here. What's up, Kevin Fadley? How you doing, Simona Holloway? Mrs. Molly Hillenbrand. Great to see you over on the Facebook side. How you doing, Eileen Mitnick? Great to see you as well. Elizabeth FBS. We've got Angie Lane, Samantha Cruson. What's up, Tony Kretz and David Hill? We've got Vicki Everett in the house this morning. Wendy Reeves. All kinds of folks over on the Facebook side today. What's up, Barrett Trout? My man Marcus Black is in the house. Marcus! <laughs> Great to see you. What's up, Julie Lentini? I love it. Jacquia Lafre is up in here. Daph Walker. Liza Myers. Borges is up in here this morning. And my friends over on Clubhouse, we got Alpha 6, the joint venture expert. Sharon is up in the house. Susanna is up in here. Not to mention Dinah, Annette, Patricia, my man Mike Overfelt, Janaika, that's right, Janaika, maybe it's Janaika, beautiful, I love it, Olinya, Kim, Kim, uh, Kim Garner, we've got the doctor, Jennifer Norbit is in the house, Aliyah's up in here, we've got Adrian and Veronica and Donata and Ann and Mulaney and Taylor, we got Brian up in the house, packed house over on Clubhouse today. Dr. Amy Rucker just popped into the room. Somebody bring her to the stage. She's amazing. All right. So we've got the folks in Clubhouse, the folks on Facebook. You still have time. If you're listening on Clubhouse, go to Facebook, look up official Glenn Lundy, and you can watch the full production of what I'm about to drop right now. This crazy poem that I ended up writing. All right. That I'm going to share with you today. Also on Clubhouse. We're getting ready to interview Claude Silver, Gary Vaynerchuk's right-hand woman. We're going to be interviewing her in just a little bit. And later this week, we've got Naveen Jain. Actually, tomorrow, Naveen Jain will be over on Breakfast with Champions on Clubhouse. And then Friday, we have Hall of Famer Marshall Falk is going to be joining us on Breakfast with Champions. So all kinds of cool things going on, including our Saturday morning sales meetings. Don't miss that. And then we've also got Darian Sanders and Club 111, our Sunday service at 111 p.m. on Fridays. You're going to want to catch that too. All right? Check it out, man. Wow. I love seeing all you in here today. What's up, Nathaniel Banks? How you doing, Tina Bacon? Golly, packed house. I love it. I love it. Good morning to all of you. You ready? Let's have a great, incredible, incredible, incredible morning. Let's do this. This world we live in today, a scary place to say the least. Life is losing its value. Our hearts aren't at peace. There are men on their knees while our flag is hung high. There are people with badges who I'm afraid I might die. There is hatred and racism and killing and such. You can watch it on TV, on your phone. It's too much, the word Jesus is taboo. Yet the word YOLO is cool. You can have iPads in church, but can't have a Bible in school. I don't understand why we've made things this way, why technology has advanced, but as people, we stay in this mindset of anger, of animosity, of lust. Can't we all see that this world, it's on edge? It might bust from Nintendo and hacky sacks to free porn and things like that. The internet of things. There was a time we worshiped Jesus and the Bible was real. Now we worship Google and Facebook 
tells us the deal. And I'm afraid in the change we forgot who we are in the past, how you treated others, that was the bar. We used to be judged by our humanity and grace. Now we judge others with a smug on our face. The world God created, one of beauty and wonder, has become a playground for Satan, his evil not squandered. And though sometimes I fear that we've gone way too far, I am reminded and humbled, humans, we still are. We are resilient in nature. Evolution's our friend. We get faster and smarter. What we need is a trend. We need everyone out there who can see through the trees to stop screaming out and to bow on their knees. We need to beg our great father to help rid us of sin. We need to ask for forgiveness for the way we treat men. We need to stop by the neighbors just to say hi. We need to bake them some cookies or maybe a pie. We need to realize the internet is a tool to be used, not a way to hate life and constantly be abused. We need to rise up together as women, as men. We need to take back this country from the state that it's in. We are brothers, we are sisters, we are designed for love. It's important we represent our Father above. Our values, our morals, they were wrote on the cross. So let's take back what's ours. Let's show them who's boss. When established this country in 1776, our founders came together and they asked someone to stitch together a symbol of freedom and of peace. And they drew up a document on which now we should preach. It reads the words that follow. And today I will quote this masterpiece of a document that wins, it has my vote. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We are in the pursuit of fear and distrust. We are all riding along on this terrible bus. We are headed for danger, a dead end, a rough road. We must stop, we must stop. Don't let this country erode. We need love, we need peace. We need good for God's sake. We need everyone to sit down and shut up for a change. We need to open our ears more and quiet our mouths. We need to be humbled, imagination aroused. We need the wisdom to look in the mirror and say, I'm a part of the problem, but I can change that today. Then we all can take action and change where we are. We can smile and laugh. That alone will go far. We can make a new friend with our phone put away. We can even take a moment before dinner and pray. We can shout on our platforms about the kind things people have done. We can refuse to post anything negative, none. We can establish ourselves as stable and safe. We can let people know they can trust us, have faith. We can do the right thing, the right thing every time. And we can honor our wives and our children, be kind. We can share our true love that we have for another. We can show the whole world that we're sisters and brothers. We can put down the guns and refuse to go fight. We can shine brighter together, this whole world be a light. We can do all these things and we can do them today and we need to start now because our world's gone astray. It's time we start pulling and rein this place in. It's gone far enough. It's ugly with sin. Let's get back to that place where our families are safe. Where the worst thing at a concert is you might run a bit late. Where walking the street in a hoodie's okay and a game of kickball is what the neighbor kids play. Let's get back to a world where God's word is the key. A world where kindness and love will lead to victory. In the end, the dust will settle and this battle will be won. Will it be good or it be evil that sees the rise of the sun? The answer to that question lies within you and within me. We have the power to make it however we want it to be. Love, kindness, forgiveness, grace, humility, joy. Erase the hate, spread the faith.
This week, we've been doing a series here on hashtag Rise and Grind. We've been doing a series on friends and the importance of them. And so as your friend, here's the truth. I need your help. I need your help. Like I need you to show up right now more than ever in the history of all time. I need you. I need your help. I can't do it by myself. We are at the most pivotal point in our history. On the brink of what could possibly be the most evolutionary advanced period of time in the last 2,000 years. Nearly everything has changed And yet many of the things that matter most have not. You see, it is much easier to sweep things under the rug. As Tony Gaskins once said, he said, if you keep sweeping everything under the rug, you're eventually going to trip over it and fall flat on your face. Don't ignore the problems. Fix them. United we stand. Divided, we fall. We are in a season where many humans are more divided than ever before. They're more divided than ever before. Things like Trump versus Biden, Black Lives Matters versus All Lives Matters. We've got, we've got uh, Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and TikTok and LinkedIn. I mean, heck, if you go and tell somebody that a droid Android phone's better than an iPhone, I dare you to go do that to somebody who's got an iPhone right now and watch what happens. We've got division between men and women. We've got division between whether or not you should use pronouns or be gender neutral, abortion, anti-abortion. We have division over what color this dress is. Well, that's gold. It's gold. I mean, clearly that's gold. You see blue, you must be crazy if you see blue. How can you see blue? Listen, it's a culture of division. It's a culture of division where you're being told you must pick a side and fight for it vigorously. And I'm here to say, nope, nope on a rope. (laughs) I say keep your friends close and your enemies closer, not to protect yourself from attacks, but rather so that we can be a light in their proverbial darkness. Black isn't right. Neither is white. United, together, that should be the fight. So lock arms with me. Come together. Like we can do this. It's true. We can make an impact on the future. Let's do it. Me and you. If you need more videos like this, you can go to glennlundy.com. That's right. You can go to glennlundy.com. You're going to find a ton of them up there. 827 of them. Listen, my friend, I believe in you. You see, I believe that you, like me, are a child of God. And as children of God, we have both the ability and the responsibility to go out and make a positive impact on this planet. Now, in order for you to do that, I'm gonna need you to be the absolute best version of yourself that you can possibly be. Not an average version, not a little bit above, not a little bit below, but the absolute best version of yourself that you can possibly be. And it matters. Together, You and I, we can unite the world at the most pivotal time in the last 2,000 years. You with me? Are you with me? Let's do this. It matters. You matter. I'm so jacked up. Thanks for sharing this morning with me. If you need more videos, go to glennlundy.com. There's tons of them over there. Have a great St. Paddy's Day. If you want to go hang out in Clubhouse and meet Claude Silver, Come meet me over there. I'm going to go hang out there for a while. But most importantly, make sure you're back here again tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. Because we're going to do this all over again on hashtag Rise and Grind. Woo!